Cross is now doing the uh, third hot dish of the five. So remember, there's five winners. Homestyle chicken and cheese pot pie. It's a homestyle chicken and cheese pot pie. It's not your traditional. I uh, wouldn't even know it's a hot dish, but I think you're going to enjoy it. It really is nice. Um, we're going to start here by taking a look at the ingredients. One of the things about this pot pie is that it's very healthy for you. Uh, in November 2008, I weighed 140 pounds more than I do now. I lost it today. I've lost it today. Visual props. This was me in 2008. Wow. I ate this pot pie and other foods like this to lose this weight. I still have a long ways to go, but I'm pretty proud of it. I'm going to well show done. you how to make the pot pie. Well done. Yeah, I'm just biggest loser, yeah. so I think I get $100,000. So <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start. There's some secrets to this. When you look at regular foods, if you get it off the shelf, you're going to be using whatever calories they have in it. We want to reduce those calories. We want to stretch them out. One way of doing this is to take your regular dough. I use a Pillsbury. I think you've probably seen this. Have you seen this? This comes in a little package, two doughs to a package in your standard supermarket. But I take it. Do they come pre-rolled like that? Yeah, they come yeah. pre-rolled like this and just unroll them. But then take a rolling pin and flatten them out a little bit. Thin them out. Like that so way. you're literally stretching the calories? I'm literally stretching. It's called calorie stretching. We're going to stretch the calories right out. The dough's going to be a lot bigger and a lot thinner. And then when we use it, we're going to trim off a lot of it. We're going to lose all those excess calories. And it means also excess fat and excess sodium. Because I want to move fat with calories by sodium, and that's how I lost the weight. So we're just going to stretch this out a little bit. And you can see it gets quite a bit bigger. And that means that we're going to lose a lot of that and put it in the tin. Take a tin, and instead of using oil or a lard or a butter, use your spray. There's zero calories in your spray. Shake it up real good, give it a good, good spritz here. Throw the dough down. Now, in a conventional nine inch pie, that dough would just come to the end. We have all this dough right here now can be trimmed off, and it's pure calories, and it's pure fat. Get rid of it. It's still going to have the flavor and taste, and you're going to enjoy it, but it's not going to have all those extra calories. And that's important. Next, you start with the your mixing bowl. There's veggies in that. that veggies. Not their hot dish. A lot of veggies. A lot of veggies. In a standard mixing bowl, we're going to start with some potatoes. Now, how I've done these potatoes is it's a standard dice. I take them and then I use a sodium free chicken broth. And I just let it just kind of work itself. And all of a sudden, I have some potatoes that are going to be delicious. This is part of the Burger Show and Jay Anthony 5 in 10 minutes the lifestyle stage presented by Jay Anthony 5. Then they have a mixture of green beans and also some corn. I like to use frozen. You can use canned, but again, go low sodium because that's one of the things you want to look for. I use frozen if I can't come up in the summertime. If you get fresh, but there's a sale, you get the stuff and just come up yourself. You don't love it. If you get fresh vegetables, something to remember is you need to saute them a little bit. Otherwise, when you eat that pot pie, it's going to be really crunchy. So you want to saute them just a little bit so it softens them up a little so when you put them in. Throw them in. This is garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt, not too much. I use a more white salt and pepper. Now, season it to your taste. This is about the water I like it. Season it to your taste, because remember, I'm not eating it you guys are. Season it to your taste and throw it in there. And then what we want to do is we're going to use a fat-free, low-sodium uh, cream of chicken soup. Campbell's makes an excellent one. This happens to be high D. Another very, very excellent product. So do you think that's what makes it a hot dish? you got a crust thing, you got a soup. You need some type of soup thing, right? Yeah, a hot, hot dish with yeah, we'll hot soup. If it isn't soup, you can throw me off the stage. So it's, the soup is kind of what makes it. Naturally. And then I like to take a little celery and just chop that up too. And the thing about celery when you're chopping it, remember half of those on the floor, it's kind of a good luck. Put this in there. There we go. About a good two handfuls of that, just throw it in there. Do you want to stir it up? All right. <laughs> All right, then we want to get some carrots to do the same thing. Carrots are, to me, I think that's what makes any hot dishes a little bit of carrots. It's almost like a punctuation mark, if you will. Now, what kind of qualities did you like in your audience? Uh, tater. Tater? Yeah. 
know how to follow the social Twitter.
Great Cross, one of our five winners and the hottest under the